Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness, the Ireland campaign. Yeah, woohoo, we're back here, we're back. We're back here in the Ireland campaign and we're just basically, you know, chilling out. I was just about to go to war with someone. And the nation I think I've decided to go with, just because we do need a couple of resources from them, is I think I'm going to try to go for Burma. Um, actually, can I go for... No, I can't go for I can't go for Burma yet. Once I get nationalism and appealism, I could probably go for Burma. Because the reason why we want to go for Burma is that they have a couple of oil deposits somewhere in here, and these oil deposits would be great. But first, I think we need to establish a good basis. So what we need to do is actually conquer the Siamian uh, homeworld. Well, the problem is, is that I really don't want to send all my men back over there. So is there any way? Is there like a local recruiting place here? Like. No, these all these people hate me over here. Great. Okay, so uh, maybe in the future I'll get to that. But it takes so long to get my troops over the African coast at this point. I just I'm gonna be so happy once I built the Suez Canal. And man, this Ottoman Empire just like they just look powerful right now. That's all I gotta say. They just look powerful. I mean, if now if they just conquer Henden, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. If they just conquer that place, they basically be, they basically and they lose all this land. They basically become Ottoman Empire as we know today, and we lose this empire. They basically become the Ottoman Empire we know of today, which would be interesting to see. Um, so since I can't go to war with those guys because I just don't really want to do that, what I might do is actually go for. Hmm, I'm about to get nationalism and imperialism, so I need to get a country that's really really has lots of cores I wouldn't be able to do much with because they're just so big. Egypt. Hmm. Egypt seems like that, that type of place. It's too big for me to conquer on its own. Hmm. Well, Ethiopia is also one of those places, but it just has coffee. Dang, I'm trying to decide what I want to conquer. There's like so much I'm like thinking of. There's like so much I want to do. Brunei wouldn't be a big place, but I don't want to conquer Brunei. What about... What does the Nam have? Hmm. I don't really want to be in this sector though. If I'm going to do a campaign, I might as well do a war path of like, right here, then go right there, then go right there. Alright, when is this going to finish? September 18, 14, 19, 1884. You know what actually I'll do? I think this is going to be smart. Once I get nationalism and imperialism, I'm going to go in, get Casa Spell against the Santo Calife, conquer them, that will give me my coal deposits, okay? Then once I'm done with that, then I'll send my troops across the ocean to go to to go to um, Siam, conquer Siam, that'll probably give me about, I'm guessing I'll probably be up 20 infamy, 20 infamy, and then from there, I'll do like a Causes Belli to conquer Burma, and that way we'll have this big gigantic stretch, oh no, Burma conquered a little bit more, so that means they have more than 5 territories, if I'm guessing, so 1, 2, 3, have to back up kind of, okay, so let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we, yeah, and at that point, I guess I could probably just conquer this region right here of original Siam. You know, take some of the opium and take that opium, that nice British opium trade for ourselves. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Yep, the cement factory collapsed. I don't, I think it's because I had to raise taxes and raise infrastructure. Should be doing good now. Ah, uh, I see, our economy was collapsing because of it. Uh, do we want a fabric factory? Why not? Why not let it fly? Uh, you probably should not be using other people's catchphrases, but... Eh, you will never see this video, so... Uh, but just so you guys know, that catchphrase is, um, Chris Moves. Pretty good YouTuber. Just reached, um, 1 million subs One... At this point, at this point in time, 1 billion... 1 million subscribers, so... Pretty cool. Alright. I bought all the materials. Can we please just build this thing? Seriously. I mean, honestly, this is like taking forever. Okay, there we go. Yay, we're building a fabric factory, I guess. Okay, seems like a lot more people are coming here now. So, I'm going to build a regular clothes factory. Let's see, wait, 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 wait. How much is this daily going to output? Let's see. 1.0 world's production. Let's see, how's the shipyard? 0% of the world's production. So yeah, the cement factory is 0% of the world's production. Oh, I see. This is using what uh, we support our boys. 
Yeah, it gives us prestige, and now we're 12th place. Yay! Yeah, especially when we get that coal, that will help us out a lot. Okay, so let me think. Do we want to build a regular clothes factory? What we are, what we actually probably will need is a, is a um, furniture factory, because we actually do need to get some furniture esque stuff built so that we can have a good just common wealth stuff so we don't have to keep importing so much furniture. Because that's what we want to make sure. We want to limit the amount of of uh, things we import, especially things that aren't crucial to us. You know, like, I have to import, like, things like coal. I'm going to have to import coal because, you know, that's just the way it is. I have to import coal, otherwise my economy would die. But, you know, I can limit the amount of, like, other stuff that goes into my economy. Like, like um, chairs. We don't need as many chairs. And getting regular clothes and all this kind of stuff. We said, wow, we're getting a lot of these. So what is happening to these guys? Because it seems like they keep... Okay, so thus our expedition has now caught an additional 20 species of plant life. Here though, unknown to science. Okay, so the bomb ex who dispatched the report about is clear that while well, they are making progress, they couldn't need... We support our boys. I've always said that many times. I do not... I do believe you guys' cause is just. Okay, let's start... Let's start taking down these... Taking down some of these two. Because I don't want... I don't want to be just straight up... Uh, convoys. Because I've done a lot of convoys and stuff like that. Actually, let's get some more taxes. You know, let's get some more output. So we need to make sure our output is extending. All right. So now that we have, now that we have basically what I want, what I'm gonna go do is gonna go take over the Santo Califate. That way, I can get my my coal deposits. My coal deposits are gonna be pretty nice. <laughs> Won't deny you that. So that then I can maybe then with this coal deposit, let's see how much does it produce. Them. Well, there's only time I was it produces, but hopefully not. Hopefully a good amount, because I do want to use that for future generations. Okay, well if we can just demand concession, that's fine. Still gonna take this region right here. I don't know why it's not letting me like just conquer them outright, but I guess if I just have to demand concession, that's fine with me. I can take that. I mean, it doesn't cost me that much. I wish I would have known that a couple more weeks ago, so I wouldn't have to gain that. Which that hurts. Always want to get more. So, ah, oh, dang it! What are you talking about, man? Uh, what are you talking about? I never heard of these uh, Santo people, Sokoto, whatever you call those African scumbags. Hey, I'm gonna go get a drink. Okay. So now I think it's been about enough time for I can actually start speaking loudly again. So let's see, the Unionist Party's in power, so I'm almost, almost at Prestige 45. Don't quite have enough for military industrial complex. Can't wait till I get that though, because I'll be increasing like ever. Okay, so war exhaustion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, get that. Let's see, get my troops. My people are there yet? Yes, they are. They built my little place. Let's extend this. Let's give our people over here. This is this is shaping up to be a pretty nice place over here. Like I'm making this I'm making my colonies pretty advanced for their age. Okay, let's go send our troops over here just to, to get ready for the uh, eventual invasion of the Santo. Okay, next thing I need to do is upgrade the port over here. Can't though. Wait, is that Alexandria or is that oh it's Oh, okay. Well, I got the port anyway, so hopefully I don't go in debt. And the Jacobson rebels are coming up again. How strong are they? Not very strong. My National Guard can take care of them. Go, National Guard! Prove our great colonial incident. Please be against Spanish. Please be against the Spanish. Please do not get me a colonist bill against the British. I am not strong enough to fight the British, and I would seriously almost slow this stupid computer or my mouse, or my phone across this stupid room if this is against the British. Why does this game hate me? And you know, I read somewhere online, you're supposed to keep like negative relationships with the country and like low relationships with like the country you want to gain like a cause of bad life from. Uh, I have a problem with that. 
my problem is is that uh, <laughs> I am I have really high relationships with Spain I just realized that but like I have I've been having really low relationships with, like all these guys and yet I don't get any event for them to like come fight me but no I always get an event for oh come on National Guard are you let no National Guard please don't die retreat retreat the National Guard wow this feels almost like every National Guard right now they can't actually deal with any of the problems okay time to send in okay let's build some more soldiers for you you obviously need more help okay let's see I've been encouraging men in my main province so I should have a lot of like men ready to just up and join the new Canadian the new not Canadian army but the new Irish army Irish the luck of the Irish everyone the luck of the Irish okay so let's build this and if I build a cannon in Dublin okay there that should do it you guys should have enough cars for this and Oh, shit. Did I kill my men again? No, nope, they're still alive. Whew! <laughs> I, forgot that. I thought they, like, vanished. I was like, oh, no. Did I kill them again? A a pa Patrick O'Connor has been our longest surviving, like, captain. He's an expert raider and he's in debt. That's really good, dude, because you're, like, the only one that's... You're the only captain that survived longer than, I would say, a, I would say at least five years with us. That is really, that is like the lucky number so far. Okay, so right now we have a Casas Belli against the British. I'm actually debating if I should use it because I actually do need a province from the British. And remember when I was joking around and joking around about the steel drums in Jamaica earlier? Well, I was really being serious. We really, with Jamaica's high sulfide, ab high sulfide province, we could definitely use that to our advantage and gain the sulfide, you know, marks we need. The only problem is that we're going to have to hope and and pray that they get into a major... Oh, dang. I'm gonna have to hope that the Germans are stubborn. Please, Germany. Let's hope these both these guys join. Probably Belgium will join in. Yeah. Yeah, this is not gonna fire, dang. Okay. We're gonna have to hope that maybe we'll get a free... A free bypass. Should still have the Casas Bella. Yeah, I was about to say. And most of, most of these Santo men are still right there where I left them. Okay, so this should be easy. Okay, so Santo, let's declare war again. Demand can wait, what do I need? What's the region called? It's called East Hazierland. That's probably not how you say it. And I feel really bad because I'm also... I'm... My ancestors are from Africa, but I can't say one African for the lick of me. Except I know some Arabic, like I know, a oh my goodness, that took a lot of my men. But luckily these guys are uncivilized, so it doesn't, if these guys were civilized, who, they could have destroyed my army right there. Do do a stupid move like that. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they're going to die. Okay. White piece, yep. Yeah, it doesn't seem like we'll be able to use that Kazas Belai against the British. That's a shame. I really wanted to use it, though. Alright. Because I know that if I declare war on the British, I'm right next to them. Like, legitly... Oh, shoot! I completely forgot. I'm still having... Still have revolutionary problems. Shoot. I was, like, starting to do mono... I was starting to go in my monologue phase. Where, like, I recap everything. Like... And so we were about to begin our long journey in the waters. And then I realized, oh, shoot. We have still rebellions at home. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that was kind of stupid of me. Okay. Get these guys dead. Yeah, kill, kill these rebels, please. Kill them to... Okay, so now the National Guard seems to be led by Connor O'Dali. And seems to, seems to be doing okay. Okay. We just have to keep fighting on in the Santa War. The Santa War should only last, like, maybe a couple more regions. And, yep, I think we now don't have the, uh... Uh... Kazas Belai against... Yeah, we need, to, we need to start taking down this. As soon as I realize that we are in... Let's see. We are so behind in terms of like technology here. Yeah, I don't think we have. The t yeah, we definitely don't have the uh, Cosbella against against the uh, British. Even though I never understand why is it always the British. You know, just why do we always have to go to war with the British? Like, why can't I just go to war with France? Or why can't I go to war with like 
you know, Spain, the country I wanted to go to war with, it would have probably been a lot more helpful. No, I have to go to war. Oh my goodness, somebody actually wants an alliance with me. This is the first. Um, hmm. Can I use this to my advantage? Does anyone, well, let's see, they like me 101. Let's see, does anyone else want an alliance with me? No. France, probably not. No. America. I don't want an alliance with America. Germany. They'd probably be a good alliance. No. Uh, so, only the Ottomans like me enough. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Having friends is always great in this game. Especially a friend that could probably help me. Hmm. I don't think about it. I could probably use them to go take over some more of uh, Persia. Let's do that. <laughs> Wait. Are they being speared by anyone? Because I definitely don't want to interfere with any spearing. Nope. Russia and Ottomans aren't doing anything, so that's going to be probably our next war. Mm-hmm. Santo are going to... The, this little tribe over here of the Santo Calfe is going to try to reconquer their land. Giving them... Going, going to give them A for effort and 4.2 in for me. That's what I was worried about. Okay, let's go take over these guys. Let's go take these guys out before we do anything else. And clone... Uh, colonial archaeology. So an archaeological expedition, one of our colonies, has yielded fantastic results in the form of several... Okay, so basically, do I want them to be... Do I want the artifacts that we just found to be there locally, or do I want them to be in a national museum? Uh, how, are these guys really rebelling? Let's see. East, uh, I'll actually look at this region because... Let's see, revolt risk. Now these guys are basically fine with me, so you know what? Just, just give me the prestige. Yeah, it's, it, it just seems like a very nice, well-mended colony. Uh, Sinai does not seem like a well-mended colony. They seem like they want to kill me at some point. E. Uh, Malaysia actually is a well-mended colony. And the rest of these places are just kind of like, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go kill these guys. Hopefully. Probably not be able to catch them, because they always know how to get away. Okay, I'll go over here then. Right, let's see, what else do I need of this region? Just need that, and then I'm basically done. Oof. Yeah, and then next episode we'll be conquering a little bit of Persia. Because you know what? Persia, I'm going to beat up you as <laughs> We're going to see if we can just make Persia just non-existent by the end of this game. Like, just non-existent. You won't even see anything of Persia. Oy. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. What do I want from these guys? Of course, I want this region. There was a special region, that region right there right here they want this region right here in the smack down center of Persia because you know why not why the heck not would I want a region right there in the smack dab middle of Persia it just means that in future in future conquests I'm definitely going to take over the more of it and right now I took over more of the Santo and my army is just chilling out and so next episode people you will see me taking on the mighty Persian so well not really mighty the Stepping Stone Push High upon the gallows tree Swung a noble hearted tree By the vengeful tyrant stricken in the bloom But they met him face to face With the courage of the race And they went with souls and darted to the doom God save Ireland said the hero God save Ireland said the all whether on the scaffold high or in the battlefield we die Oh, what matter when for air and do we fall Climb it up the rugged stair and their voices out in prayer With England's fatal call around them cast Close beside the gallows tree, kiss like brothers lovingly True to home and faith and freedom to the last God save Ireland, said the hero God save Ireland, said the all Whether on the scaffold high or the battlefield we die Oh, what matter when for air and dear we fall Never till the day to stay shall the memory pass away Of the gallant lives that's given for a land But on the cars must go amid the joy and wheel and woe Till we make our island nation free and grand God save Ireland, said the hero. God save Ireland, said the all. Whether on the sky.
Ferrero, high o'er the battlefield we die. Oh, what matter when Ferrero? 